I seriously believe that the only thing more challenging than writing a great personal narrative is teaching your students how to write a great personal narrative, which is why I want to make sure I'm sharing some of our favorite tips and tricks with you for some of the most challenging topics in the world of personal narratives. Today we're focusing all about leads and how to teach your students to create strong leads for their personal narratives. Let's get started. Whenever students are working within personal narratives, I always like to use a mentor text as my starting point. We want to be giving our students examples of the strong types of writing that we are expecting them to generate. When you're starting that lesson about writing a lead, make sure you're sharing a mentor text that has what you're looking for, a really strong lead. I like to use the mentor texts that come in our writing curriculum, but a favorite read aloud that has a really strong, impactful, or capturing beginning can be great to start your students thinking about what they need for a strong lead for their personal narrative. After I have given my students great examples of leads within mentor texts, I then want to get them brainstorming about what those leads could look like. We like to refer to four main types of leads, and I love to give them ideas for these leads in the form of an anchor chart. The way I like to use an anchor chart is to create one all together as a class, and then my students are creating their own example as well that's going to live in their writer's notebook so they can go back and look at it. Some of our lead categories we love to use are start with a sound or ask a question. And at this point in your lesson, you want to make sure you're reinforcing that there is a certain type of lead for a certain type of story. I'm not going to start with a sound effect of splash if I'm not writing about going to the pool. We want to make sure our leads are matching the story that's coming. A question we get asked all the time about our writer's workshop is, okay, what's next? I've taught the lesson. This is my favorite part. Up next is writing time. You want to give your students the opportunity to apply the skill you just taught in that whole group lesson. So after my leads lesson, I then want to give my students time to start writing some leads. They've narrowed down their idea for their seed story. They know what they're going to be writing about in their personal narrative. And now is their chance to write a strong lead to start off that personal narrative. I like to have my students write a few different leads that they could begin their story with. If your students need extra support, consider having them write with a partner, or you could even pull a small group during this time to support students who you know are gonna need a little more guidance from you as they work to develop their lead. I promise, personal narratives do not need to be the most daunting thing on your classroom to-do list anymore. They're such a fun mode of writing to work on with our students, and there's so many simple things you can start doing right now to make those lessons really meaningful for your writers. If you're looking for other ideas about writing personal narratives for your students, make sure you check out our playlist. It's growing every week as we share our top tips for how to teach your students to write a personal narrative. If you're looking for any of the resources I shared in today's video, they're from our third grade personal narrative unit. However, don't forget, we have year long writing bundles, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade that include everything you need to teach writing effectively and engagingly in your classroom. If you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button, come back and see me every week. And I hope you guys have a not so wimpy day. Bye.